Hello everyone, MMA T Talk here, and today we are gonna talk about this huge matchup happening this weekend: UFC 264, Conor McGregor versus Dustin Poirier. I'm already making a bold prediction. You guys saw the title. I think Dustin Poirier is gonna win again, and I'm gonna explain why. If you are new to this channel, I predicted that Dustin Poirier would beat Conor McGregor in a second fight. You can find that video on my channel, I'm gonna put a link in the description. I recommend you to watch that video if you haven't, so you understand why I picked Dustin Poirier in a second fight and why I'm picking Dustin Poirier again in a third fight. I even predicted Dustin Poirier's game plan. I predicted what Dustin Poirier is gonna do in that fight, so watch that video. And then come back and watch this video. Now let's get started. So Conor McGregor is gonna fight against Dustin Poirier this weekend. And so far I don't like Conor McGregor's mindset at all. You saw Conor McGregor complaining about takedowns on Twitter. He tweeted, I quote, First one to shoot is a dusty bitch. This is a not good sign. Like you're already telling your opponent that hey, I'm scared of the takedowns. Please don't take me down. Like imagine if Isa the Sanya came out and said that whoever shoots first is a dusty bitch to Mari Vettori. That would sound crazy. And remember Isa the Sanya was in the same situation. Before Isa the Sanya fought Mari Vettori, he lost to Jan Blachowicz and he got out wrestled by him. So in his next fight, he chose to fight against Mari Vettori, who primarily uses wrestling to beat his opponents. And you saw Isa Desanya just being confident, he accepted his loss, he didn't make any excuses, and he beat Mari Vettori easily and very confidently. But with Conor McGregor, he's making so many excuses, he's tweeting stuff like this, it's not looking good for Conor McGregor at all. There's a other fighter in a boxing who has made excuses, Deontay Wilder, but the difference is that Deontay Wilder actually believes what he's saying and he's making adjustments. You see him changing his mindset and actually taking this very, very seriously. Meanwhile, Conor McGregor. I'm coming for you, P. Head. Silly hillbilly. We all know what Conor McGregor is going to do. He's going to try to knock out Dustin Poirier in the first round. And you know how you counter that? You counter that via wrestling. That's how you counter Conor McGregor in the first round. And that's why you see Conor McGregor basically tweeting that please don't take me down in the first round. Dustin Poirier had a great, great response. He said in an interview that the first one to get taken down is a dusty bitch. This is a mixed martial arts, put it all together, it reeks of insecurity to me. And he's 100% right. I think that Dustin Pori is just getting more and more confident. You are not seeing Conor McGregor complaining about the leg kicks. He can fix that, just simply changing his stance. From boxing stance, back to karate stance. But he cannot fix his weakness, and that is wrestling and grappling. Now let's talk about the advantage that Dustin Poirier has over Conor McGregor. Let's start with stamina. The longer the fight gets, Dustin Poirier gets more and more dangerous. You saw in Max Holloway fight, you saw in Dan Hooker fight. He just gets better every round. In second round against Conor McGregor, he was dodging Conor McGregor's punches and he was even countering it. He didn't do that in the first round, but he just gets more relaxed, he reads his opponents and he counters them. And he starts breaking these guys down. That's what Dustin Poirier does. Also, Dustin Poirier can take Conor McGregor down. And the reason why he can take Conor McGregor down easily in the first round compared to Khabib is because you expect Khabib to take you down. With Dustin Poirier, he can knock you out, he can kick you and he can take you down. Like he can do all the things. He's a complete martial artist. So you cannot predict what Dustin Poirier is gonna do. 
one of the most biggest reasons why I picked Dustin Poirier in a second fight is the huge size difference. So when Dustin Poirier was fighting against Dan Hooker, he weighted 183. So Dustin Poirier is bigger than Kobe Covington, he's bigger than Jaws Masvidal. That's how big Dustin Poirier is. And with Conor McGregor, he's the smallest lightweight out there. All these guys are bigger than him. Khabib is bigger than him. Islam Akhachev is bigger than him. Charles Oliveira is bigger than him. Like all these guys are bigger than him. So he's the smallest lightweight in top 10. That's why you don't see Conor McGregor knocking guys out in 155 like he did in 145. So I knew that Dustin Poirier can take these shots. He has taken all these lightweight sponges and he just keeps coming. He's like a Terminator. And last but not least, the advance that Dustin Poirier has over Conor McGregor is the mental state. So Conor McGregor got knocked out in the second fight. Dustin Poirier said that I put you in an airplane mode. That was a great line by Dustin Poirier. And it's gonna fuck up Conor McGregor mentally. And Conor McGregor's trust talk is not gonna work. It doesn't matter how much the loser talks. You're still a loser. Dustin Poirier doesn't give a fuck. In fact, he's gonna gain more confidence. Dustin Poirier has many different ways to win. And he has all the advantage. I don't see Conor McGregor winning this fight. And also, Conor McGregor is not the same fighter. He's too rich. He's too comfortable. He's not as savage anymore like he used to be. While Dustin Poirier has a whole career ahead of him. If he loses this fight, he's fucking done. He's done. He has to win. And then he's gonna have a chance to fight for the title that he always wanted. And he might win that fight, so. I think people are focusing too much what Conor McGregor can lose. Conor McGregor cannot lose anything. Even if he gets knocked out by Dustin Poirier again, he's fucking Conor McGregor. He's a household name. It doesn't matter what Conor McGregor does, he's gonna sell out everything. He's Conor McGregor. With Dustin Poirier, he's gonna lose everything. What the fuck Dustin Poirier is gonna do if he loses to Conor McGregor? He has nowhere to go. I have Dustin Poirier winning in the third round via finish. I think he's gonna knock out Conor McGregor again in the third round, but I will not be surprised if he submit him. Let me know down in the comments section what you guys think about this. I wanna hear your prediction in the comment section. And also the UFC 264 is a great card. We have so many great fights coming up. I cannot wait for these fights. The best fights in UFC 264 card is of course Poirier vs McGregor, Burns vs Thompson and Price vs Pereira. Keep eye on these three fights. If you wanna see crazy knockouts, watch O'Malley vs Motino and Taituasa vs Hardy. Remember to subscribe to this channel, like this video if you like, stay safe, stay healthy, goodbye.